Hi, it's Tony at Dive Tech in Grand Cayman. I'm going to show you how to change the oxygen sensor on a KISS Orca Spirit rebreather. So I've removed the head from the rebreather, and the first thing we're going to want to do, obviously, is just turn it over. I find it's easier to remove these springs. Uh, these springs are just held in place by little bump stops, so all you have to do is just pull them out. It's not essential to remove them, but I just find it's easier to work with. And after we've done that, we're going to remove our cell carriage nut. And then we can just simply remove our cell tray. We want to be careful doing this because the wires that connect the sensors to the rebreather are pretty delicate. Okay, the next step is just simply disconnecting the Molex connection from the cell, but here's where it gets tricky. This locking tab here locks the Molex connector into the body of the cell. And what happens is that this Molex connector is pressed down into the body of the cell, and that makes it very difficult to grab. There's not a lot of material to grab here with your fingers. So what people have a tendency to do is they tend to grab it by the wires and to pull it out with the wires. And that's really bad because what that can do is rip the wires from the connectors in there. So the easiest way to do this is to take our needle nose pliers and then we take a small flat bladed screwdriver and just simply release the tab and then with our needle nose pliers we can easily pull the Molex connection out. At this point we can simply unscrew the sensor and replace it with a new one. So I have our replacement sensor here. You'll note that the sensors come with this little O-ring on it. For the KISS rebreathers, this is not required. We can actually remove this. It doesn't hurt to leave it on, but KISS recommends that you remove it. First thing we're going to do is screw the sensor back in. It's always a good idea to date your sensors on the day you've installed them, which we've done. I'm going to zoom in to show that there's only one method of alignment, that this tab right here aligns with this little slot right here. And we're just simply going to pop that back in. And we're going to slide our sensor tray back in place, taking care not to pinch any of the wires. Put our cell nut back on. Holds the sensor carriage in place. And we're going to press our springs back in place. Of course, anytime we change the sensors in our rebreather, the next thing we need to do is calibrate our shear water per the instructions. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to look at our other videos for more how-to tips for your KISS Orca Spirit rebreather and come down and see us.